Well, hello, Shoreline Church. Uh, this is your devotional for March 31st. And, and can you believe that we're right on the edge of April, uh, heading into spring, and that this, that, that two days from now is our Good Friday service, and this Sunday is Easter Sunday. I hope if you haven't invited somebody yet, you'll go on the website, get all the information, and send out some e-invitations to somebody to join you in your home or online watching at the same time as you or right here on campus. We're gonna have a bunch of services. You can go to the website to get the details, but I invite you to join us for worship. But we're gonna look together today at, at Proverbs chapter 13. And some of the chapters of Proverbs are kind of fun because there's no uh, kind of theme that runs through three, four or five verses, but it's just kind of, it's maybe 30 verses and 30 different themes. And so I'm going, to, I'm going to just grab one or two verses, actually three different verses here, read those to you, and then just share a few insights. Here's the first one. Proverbs 13, verse 1. A wise son heeds his father's instruction, but a mocker does not respond to rebukes. Here's lesson number one. Listen to parental wisdom. If you have parents who love Jesus and who love you, even when I was growing up, my parents were not Christians, but they, they actually had wisdom. I, they knew a lot more than I did when I was about 12, 13, 15 years old. But, and, and, and so I would encourage you that when God puts people in your life, parents or people who are parental in your life, who have real godly wisdom, listen to that wisdom and learn from others. There's great wisdom in learning from others. One of the things that I learned early on in life is that I, I learned this. A wise person learns from their mistakes. A really wise person learns from others' mistakes. What do I mean by that? Well, when you learn from your own mistake, that means you had to blow it. You had to go off the cliff. You had to mess up. If you're really, really wise, you look at somebody else, watch how they mess up and say, I don't have to do that to learn the lesson. I can learn from your mistake. So grow in wisdom and listen to people who speak wisdom into your life. Here's the next verse. Verse 20. Walk with the wise and become wise. For a companion of fools suffers harm. Who you hang out with affects you. This is why parents are so concerned about who they, their kids make friends with. And, and there's nobody with any wisdom at all that doesn't recognize that children hanging around a really difficult crowd, a mixed up crowd, a crowd heading the wrong way, they're going to be influenced. And children hanging around other kids that are making good choices will be influenced. But guess what? That's not just for children. If you're in your 30s, your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, you're still influenced by the people you hang out with. And so be sure that you're the influencer and look for those people that will live with wisdom and honor God and be influenced by them. And then when you're around people who maybe who are far from Jesus, you influence them to discover who Jesus is and be drawn towards his heart. Well, the third verse we're going to look at here in, in Proverbs chapter 13 is verse 24. And some people kind of struggle with this kind of a passage, but I think it's a gift. And it simply says this, whoever spares the rod hates their children, but the one who loves their children is careful careful to discipline them. The point is this, if you love your kids, you will lovingly discipline them. You'll be as firm as you need to, you'll communicate well, but you won't look the other way when they're heading for a cliff. And I remember as, as a young Christian being in a Kmart and seeing this mom following her son around as he, this little boy, was knocking shoes off the shoe racks. And I mean, pair after pair, pair after pair, walking along, and the mom did nothing except for whine at her son. She said, honey, you're making mommy very sad. And he'd look at her defiantly and knock some more off. Oh, honey, that makes mommy feel very bad. And he'd knock some more down. He was a little kid. He didn't care if mommy felt bad. But she didn't discipline him. She didn't, and as a young Christian, as a young person, I looked and thought, you don't love that kid enough to do something. Our God loves us enough to discipline us. And we should love our children enough to discipline them. If you have been given the gift of children, Take seriously the call to carefully, lovingly, firmly, consistently discipline them. That is an act of love. I hope these different verses of wisdom speak to your heart. And we want to keep remembering that, that the Proverbs are meant to give us general rules to, lead, to live by. And that we follow, they, they, they are true, not in an absolute sense, but in a general sense, this is the best way to live our lives. Again, I want to invite you this Friday to Good Friday services. We're going to have communion. So if you're at home or on campus, be ready for communion. If you're at home, get the elements ready before the service. And if you're going to be, on, if you're going to be at home, great. If you're on campus, please go online and register. And then be sure to register for Easter services this coming Sunday. We have a whole series of services. Go on the website. We're going to add more services if we need to. So keep kind of checking in there. Register right away and register your friends. I hope that maybe this Easter, for some of you, you've not been back on campus yet. I hope you would consider joining us 
for socially distanced. We've not, we've not had any spread of COVID at Shoreline. None of our staff members have had COVID. We, we've been blessed by God in, in all of this time, but we're gonna be very, very careful and safe, but we're gonna worship together in the courtyard. If you haven't come out of your home yet to worship, I invite you to come Easter Sunday. If you can't do that, we'll see you online. God bless you. Have a great, wonderful Good Friday, a blessed Easter, and just walk with Jesus. Have a great day.